Hello again class and uh, a warm welcome to you all. This video will show you um, how our course is organized and how you can navigate the course. And uh, I'm gonna share my screen with you all. Uh, beginning with our day one course welcome and orientation module. Here you can find super important information regarding the, um, our course in particular and also uh, school policies, school resources, etc., that are going to apply to uh, our, our course this semester. So I'd like you to go through step by step and, and take a look and review each page in the module. It talks a little bit about the, the course and the expectations, um, how online learning works. So if this is your first online class, it's a good opportunity for you to review some of the information that talks about the time commitment uh, the schedule, among other things. And so I think those are important to consider as you're beginning the class to give you a really good idea of what it's going to take to be successful in the course. And um, think about your past performance, your past experiences, and how those carry over and apply to our course as well. All right, so we'll go ahead and move on to the week one module. And I'm not going to open the course welcome. I think that is pretty self-explanatory and I believe um, you know all the information that's presented there is pretty clear and if there's any you know questions please let me know but I do want to take a look at cl a closer look at week one. So here I provided a general introduction that talks a little bit about Mexican American studies or Chicano or Chicanex studies and some of the more recent controversies surrounding uh, the changing terminology and my particular opinion is i think it's something that's positive um, we've seen generationally that the youth and students in particular are at really at the curve of the forefront of instrumenting change uh, in a number of different examples in particular in regards to uh, civil rights movements students movements etc and so i think it's a good conversation to have um, and we see the the differences in generations and and experiences kind of play out in these these discussions taking a closer look at the objectives for the week um, you're going to define the discipline of history mexican-american studies you're going to you're going to learn about historical thinking and how that might differ from other uh, disciplines you'll explain the importance of kind of the discipline and studying history mexican-american studies and uh, we'll begin our discussion with the early settlers in the americas now i'll talk a little bit more specifically about the textbook and if you don't have it yet you're you're okay because at least in regards to our schedule we won't begin reading until our, our reading is not scheduled until next week but if you have the book that's great because then you can go ahead and move forward so for week one take a look at the the welcome module take a look at the week one module you're going to read a couple of articles the first being the birth of Chicano studies and you're also going to watch some videos on historical thinking and you're going to work on the discussion one icebreaker assignment all right so let's take a look at what what those are in particular in more detail on the history and moss overview page there's four tabs that are included in our page here and I'd like you to you know, move in sequence from tab to tab and uh, make sure that you're clicking or selecting each tab individually before you move on to the next page in the module. And we're just kind of summarizing some of the important elements of the discipline of history, thinking critically about the sources that we encounter and information that we're exposed to. And so that's the reason why I asked you to look at these uh, tabs, this information. I think it just provides a general snapshot of you know, both Mexican-American or Chicanx, Chicano studies, Chicana studies and history. And uh, that's, that's the second page in the module. The next page is a page on primary and secondary sources. These are sources that we use uh, quite a bit in history and they help us really get a better understanding of the past because they were produced during the time periods that we're researching. Uh, we want to critically look at these primary source documents and we're going to we're going to see this semester how you can go about doing that using some different tools and analysis in that process. 
So take a look at the handouts, please read those. You can print these out if you like. If you have a printer at home, I know um, you know everything, everything is online and available for you now. So at least you can save these PDF files and take a closer look uh, when you have time or you can simply scroll through, they're embedded here for your convenience. Now this is something that we're gonna look at in week two as well, but you can get started this week this is a great opportunity to start working on the readings and assignments and media that we're covering. This is from a website called Smart History, and I think it's a great resource. We're gonna be using it quite a bit this, this semester. And luckily for us, they have a section on Mesoamerica, they have a section on um, colonial Spain and, and Mexico. And so we'll use these resources. There's some articles, there's some videos, there's some images, I think they're super helpful. And I really like the focus on art history and kind of the analysis and breaking down of um, a lot of Meso Mesoamerican artifacts and also uh, art from Mexico and New Spain, or I should say New Spain, which was colonial Mexico and, and you know, Europe as well. So get started and when you have a moment to read that summarization of Mesoamerica. It's a compliment to the book, kind of reiterate some of that information, but... Um, when you have an opportunity, please go ahead and do that. Another uh, part of the week one module is the distance education survey. And so this is a survey where I just want to gauge, you know, what, what your experience is with distance education, online learning. Um, everybody's had experience, at least continuing students up to this point. Any new students, this might be your first online class. So I want to welcome you. And, uh, you know, I want to try to provide the tools for you to succeed in the class. And this survey helps me get a better understanding of, of where you're coming from in relation to your performance in the class. But one area in particular I'd like you to, to focus on is going to be the, um, the possible Zoom meetings that we'll have in the class. And so here I ask you, what time of the day would work best for these Zoom meetings? I don't have them scheduled as of yet, so I'm gonna base my schedule off of my availability and your availability. And then also, what day of the week would work best for these Zoom meetings for the course? All right, and then the other assignment that we have this week is the discussion one icebreaker. Um, I believe there should be a rubric here. And so take a look at the rubric that kind of gives you an understanding of, of the discussion. And um, I'd like you to copy and paste these questions and answer them in your response. And then I'm asking you also to um, reply to your, to your classmates as well. Two of your classmates for the requirements of the assignment. All right, we also have a, a knowledge check this week, which is gonna be based off the course syllabus and some of the module information from that welcome module in particular. I'll post that up tomorrow, which will be Tuesday, uh, and it will be open until Sunday as well. So all of our assignments will close on Sundays. My goal is to grade on Monday and get back, you know, get you some feedback on Mondays and Tuesdays during early in the week. And uh, yeah, that's how we're gonna work for these initial modules for week one. And uh, please message me with any questions that you have. And uh, again, welcome to the class.